Before we get into this week's video, I wanted to let you guys know about a super easy way that you can grow your Amazon wholesale business in under three minutes per week. And so that is going to be by subscribing to my newsletter, which is going to be in the description below. It's called the Amazon Wholesale Newsletter. And once a week, I send out an email to over 2,000 people that includes just one super actionable, super easy to implement tip that can really help you scale your wholesale business a lot quicker. So if you're interested in signing up for that newsletter, like I said, the link is going to be in the description below. And with that said, let's get right into this video. There are five must have Chrome extensions that if you're an Amazon wholesale seller, you absolutely must have these and be using them on a regular basis in your business to help you grow and to help you scale in a much more efficient manner. So in today's video, I'm going to get right into exactly what those Chrome extensions are, how I use them in my business and how I think you should use them too. So before we get into the five Chrome extensions, if you wouldn't mind taking a quick second, like the video, leave a comment if this video is helpful and also subscribe for more videos just like this. So the first Chrome extension that I'm going to go into is the Keepa Chrome extension. So anybody that's been selling on Amazon for any amount of time knows that Keepa is the number one most important tool in your arsenal by far if you're a wholesale seller, if you're an online arbitrage seller, or if you're a retail arbitrage seller. And so a lot of people actually don't know that Keepa has a Chrome extension that can produce the Keepa graph uh, right there on your desktop on the Amazon search results page, not just on the listing page, by hovering over the product title. So when the Keep a Graph extension is set up properly, you can just hover over a listing. The Keep a Graph will pop up in the bottom right of your screen and it'll show you that Keep a Graph right there without having to click into the actual listing. So this is really useful for disqualifying listings quickly. If, for example, you're trying to skip over listings where Amazon is dominating the listing, if you're looking for listings at a certain price point, if you're looking for listings that have a steady price history, for example, all of those things are made much easier and you can disqualify listings much quicker by having that Keep a Chrome extension enabled and using that every day in your business. Now, the second Chrome extension that is an absolute must have for wholesale sellers is called DS Amazon Quick View. DS Amazon Quick View is completely free. Uh, we've had it since day one. And what it does is when you are on the Amazon search results page, not just within the listing, but on the search results page, it will show you a little bit of information under each product specific to that product. So for example, it'll show you if Amazon's on the listing, it'll show you the number of FBA sellers on the listing, it'll show you that product's rank, and it'll show you the category that that product is ranked in. So these are crucial pieces of information that you'll need at your fingertips to make decisions quickly and to either qualify or disqualify products much quicker. Now, the third Chrome extension that is an absolute must have for wholesale sellers is called IP Alert. And so IP Alert was actually developed by my good friend, Chris Grant, and it is an invaluable tool for alerting you to brands that are likely to file IP complaints against your account. So a lot of you that have been selling wholesale for a while might have come across a brand where you list the brand under your account and then a couple of weeks later or possibly even a couple of months later, you get hit with an IP complaint. And what that is, is that is when the brand themselves is essentially filing a complaint against your account saying that you're misusing their intellectual property. Now, whether those complaints are justified or not, they will still affect your account health and IP complaints actually uh, affect your account health very negatively and they affect your account health much more significantly than other types of violations. So by having the IP alert Chrome extension, it will alert you to brands that are likely to file IP complaints. Now it's not perfect. It doesn't get it right 100% of the time, but no tool is. And I can say with confidence that the IP alert Chrome extension has really helped us to avoid carrying some brands that we might've had trouble with without being alerted uh, from IP alert to begin with. The fourth Chrome extension that you absolutely must have as a wholesale seller is going to be online seller add-on, otherwise known as OS add-on. And so what OS add-on allows you to do is it allows you to see the stock levels of other sellers on a listing. So when I'm clicking on a product page and I go into the listing, I can click the OS add-on Chrome extension and it'll show me essentially a menu of every seller on that listing, as well as how many units they have in stock, whether they're FBA or whether they're FBM as well as the expected delivery date if someone were to buy from that seller. 
So when you know your, your competition stock levels and you know how many products each seller has in stock, it really helps you make a lot more informed buying decisions. Because for example, if you see there's, let's say there's 10 sellers on a listing, but they have minimal stock according to OS add-on, then you know that you can be pretty comfortable going relatively deep on that product because according to OS add-on, a lot of these sellers are gonna sell out sooner rather than later. Uh, so that way you can go a little deeper and you can jump on the pro uh, on the listing and probably sell at a slightly higher price. So OS add-on has a lot of other use cases, but that is the primary reason that we use it is to make buying decisions based on how much stock our competitors have at any moment. And now the last Chrome extension is not specific to Amazon per se, but it really helps us in our business and we use it on almost a daily, if not a weekly basis. And that is gonna be the Loom Chrome extension. So Loom is a tool where you can capture your screen and you can also capture your camera at the same time to record videos. And we've used Loom for a number of things. We've used Loom to record screen share videos that we've created SOPs out of, which stands for Standard Operating Procedures, basically a checklist or a guide on how to do a certain task. So Loom is really good for creating those. I've used Loom to record videos of me breaking down a brand's listings and explaining what is wrong with those listings and then sending that to the brand so that the brand can see both my face and the listing in the video and me walking through that listing and the things that we can do to help them improve that listing and many more things. So Loom is just a screen capture tool and a camera capture tool that you can use to create all sorts of videos for many, many different use cases. We've used Loom for years and it is a fantastic tool and really helps us uh, make our wholesale business much more efficient. So there you have it guys, those are the top five Chrome extensions that I would recommend you use as an Amazon wholesale seller. Again, in order, those are Keepa, DS Amazon Quick View, IP Alert, Online Seller Add-on, and Loom. So if this video was helpful, leave a comment. Also leave a comment if you've used any of these tools in the past. I think a lot of them are much more common than others, but if there's any specific use cases that you found particularly interesting or maybe that I might not have thought of, leave those in a comment below and I'll be sure to address those maybe in an individual video on a specific Chrome extension in the future. So thank you so much for watching. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram and connect with me over on LinkedIn. And until next time, I will be coming out with a new video later this week. So thanks for watching.